Hello, Gemini. It's Melady from Melady's Way Tarot. Now I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 21st through the 28th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. And if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. I also wanted to thank people for the donations. I really appreciate you guys for that, you know. Makes me feel good. All right, so let's get this show on the road. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. I'm sorry, guys. I know I say it a million times because I don't remember saying it. <laughs> and it's very important. Okay, so Gemini, 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 what's going on? Gemini, love reading. What's going on in the Gemini? Ooh. So somebody is um, traveling. Maybe somebody traveling to you. You traveling to somebody. This could be a long distance relationship. It could be moving in together. All right, what's going on with the Gemini? Love reading. August 21st through the 28th, 2017. Gemini, love reading. 21st, 28th, 2017. All right, so you could be giving presents to somebody or somebody could be giving presents to you or somebody could be saying that they're going to give you things and not giving them to you, okay? All right, with uh, this, with this card, I feel like I feel like somebody is wanting too much one and then I also feel like that I you really hate that this person always telling you that they're going to give you something and they don't. I feel like it's like a don't tell me if you're not going to do it situation. All right. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Mm, I don't know why I just heard control. I don't know controlling, controlling, control. All right, um it's basically saying you're right where you're supposed to be. All right, what is this journey that they arrived to for the Gemini? What is this Gemini's journey? All right, so you're starting to realize that this person is an arrogant uh, person. Or you could be, like, de demasculating them. You know, it could go either one of those ways. And this could go for you or for them. All right, you got a flyer. I got to watch this video to see how that flipped because there's no way it should have. All right, so it seems like people, whatever this is, they're trying to make you sacrifice things to help them get ahead. That's what's going on right there. Mm. But you noticed it now. You see like, oh, I, I know what's going on here. All right, so yeah, you try, you're starting to empower yourself. You're like, okay, well, I know what you're doing now. And then I I feel like, I don't feel like you're just going to leave. I feel like you're just going to play the game. So maybe this could be that you like, oh, well, I'll give you this. And then not give them anything because you know they're trying to use you. All right. All right. So um, I feel like, I don't know, I'm getting a female figure that is doing the, um, Feminine could be just a feminine figure, feminine, female, but they got people telling them to do this, to ask and try to get stuff from you. I mean, this could be like somebody at work, just somebody that's real close to them is trying to get them to do this kind of stuff to you. Okay. What is this sacrifice about for the Gemini 8, 21 through 28, 2017? All right, baggage. Yeah, so they want you to get rid of all your stuff that you're doing wrong, but they don't, you know, it's not the same way around. You, They don't want to get rid of their stuff, but they want you to get rid of your stuff. All right? But, y'all, this is a general reading. It can go either way. All right. So, Cleo cards, I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. So... What's going on with the Gemini love reading? Gemini love reading. What's going on with the Gemini love reading? August 21st through the 28th, 2017. 
Mm. Wow. Uh, so I just felt like a real uh, burst of happiness. But it was like a happiness because of somebody. Sorry. It was a happiness because of somebody else's sadness, though. Like, you mad? I'm happy now. I don't know what that was, what they had to do with. All right, what's going on with the Gemini, Gemini, Gemini? Oh, yeah, I get it. Because you saying that you're going to give them stuff and do stuff for them. And they just trying to use you. And you like, you know, just playing mind games now. Oh, yeah, you were hurt about it at first. But now you're like, I'm, I'm going to stand my ground. So, yeah, I feel like you're going to mess with them a little bit before you release them out in the open. Yeah, you're planning everything now. <laughs> then you're going to pick up and leave. Okay. The, so this could be happening to you, though. Um, only if you're using. You're the user. So the user, they're going to play with your mind a little bit, and then they're going to disappear in the night. All right? All right, so we got the eight of staffs. No, the queen of staffs. Okay. Queen of staffs is upright and says, a very but loving, no, a very strong but loving person very responsible and caring individual you can trust what this person says okay then we got this three of swords three of swords three of swords all right the three of swords says a broken heart whether in a relationship or in life a end of an affair, a bitter breakup, take care of emotional problems. Yeah, this is a bit of a bitter breakup, but it's starting to seem like they sort of might probably deserve it. Okay. All right. So, the full reverse is careless, unwilling to listen to others. Okay. So, this could have been your friends at work trying to tell you to do stuff or trying to tell you to stop or whatever. And you're like, nope, I'm about to do it this way. Somebody probably just telling you to leave. But you're like, nope, i am got to get payback. All right, so five of swords. Five of swords. Like, I want to hurt them like they hurt me. All right, five of swords is upright. It says, it may be time to limit your losses by letting go. Do not let your negative input of others influence your decision. Uh, do not continue to fight when the war is over move away from the situation so this basically is saying maybe your friends is trying to get you to do this stuff okay i guess it can go both ways so somebody's trying to get some people are trying to geek you up to do it and some people are trying to talk you out of it all right so we got the four coins all right, it says a person who may want too much is indicated. A person who indulges him or herself and rarely anybody else. Yes, yeah, so it's basically like you trying to teach them a lesson. Like, don't be running around using people. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you're on a person to read, check in the description box below. Email me and, and we can set something up. Um... I want to thank everybody for the donations and um, scheduling personal readings. You guys really make me feel, feel special. Other than that, have a nice week.